So uh, I'm from the Technical University of Darmstadt in Germany, and I'm glad to be here to talk about our work on learning multiple collaborative tasks with a mixture of interaction primitives. In our work, we want to allow robots to assist humans in different contexts. The problem is that the variability of situations in which people may need assistance is very large. Therefore, it's very difficult to come up with a fixed set of rules to deal with every possible situation. Instead, in our approach, we program the robot to learn from human demonstrations how to react to human actions. And in order to do this, we use the concept of interaction primitive. An interaction primitive is basically a probability distribution of a trajectories of the human and of the robot. In order to train an interaction primitive, we show the robot a number of different demonstrations. In one of these demonstrations, in one of those demonstrations, uh, a human moves around doing something and another human moves the robot through kinesthetic teaching. So it just grabs the arm of the robot and moves it around to show the robot how it should react. And then we show this a number of times for a certain task and we build a probability distribution over trajectories. One single interaction primitive can deal with a, a linear correlation between the agents and with one single simple task. In order to deal with different uh, collaborative tasks, we uh, propose using a mixture of interaction primitives. So we can show the robot a number of different demonstrations of different interactions, and then we learn a probability distribution that copes with all those different interactions at the same time, with one single probability distribution. And then in the test phase, when we see a trajectory of the human, we can condition our probability distribution to find the most probable reaction of the robot to that action of the human. So we uh, tested our algorithm uh, with the real robot in a scenario where I wanted to assemble a box with the assistance of the robot and the robot was able to recognize what I needed. For example, if I extended my hand like this, the robot will give me a part of the box or if I would extend my hand in another way to try to reach the uh, screwdriver, the robot would uh, recognize that I probably need a screw and grabs it and gave it to me at the right position. I'm, I want to thank also the co-authors of this paper, so uh, Gerhard Neumann, uh, Rudolf Lyutkov, uh, Henny Ben Amor, Jan Peters and Guilherme Maida. Thank you very much.